Well, our tale begins around 250 years ago in the town of Ayr in Scotland, where one market night, Tam O'Shanta was in a tavern with his best friend Suter Johnny, having a great time. He'd known Johnny since he was young, and they spent the evening together, laughing and joking. They were having a great time together. So good, in fact, that they didn't really notice how late it was getting. Back home, Tam's wife Kate was waiting for him. He'd promised her, promised her faithfully that he wouldn't be late. But of course, he was. There she was, sitting at home, waiting for Tam, getting angrier and angrier, gathering her brows like gathering storm and nursing her wrath to keep it warm. Well, after a wonderful evening with his best friend, Suter Johnny, Tam realised he had to leave and go home, for no man can tether time. Pleasures are like poppies spread. He sees the flower its bloom is shed, or like the snow falls in the river, a moment white then melts forever. So Tam said cheerio to his friend, Suter Johnny, and went outside to get his horse, called Meg. And so he mounted Meg and set off him, which meant he had to go through the wood, which took him past Alloway's old haunted kirk. The weather was terrible. The wind blew as t'wad blow in its last, and the rattling showers rose on the blast. That night a child might understand. The deal, the devil, had business on his hand. And so, as he rode with Meg through the wood, he tried to keep himself cheerful by singing songs and whistling to himself and try not to think too much about all the spooky things that have happened in that wood. And then in front of him, he saw the old ruined church called Alloway Old Kirk. But then, as he got closer to the kirk, he could hear music. And there was light coming from inside. There was a party going on. Who was having a party at this time after midnight in this weather in a haunted church? Well, Tam was very curious. And so he got off his horse, Meg, and quietly crept up towards the old ruined church and peered through a window. There were witches and warlocks having a Kaylee dance and the music was being played by the devil himself. He was in the shape of a beast like a big dog with horns playing the pipes. Then Tam noticed that there were coffins around the walls with the dead bodies still in them. And these dead bodies held in their cold hands a candle, which was why he could see in the dead of night what was going on. As he looked around the kirk, he saw other dreadful things that I cannot mention. And so he watched the witches and the warlocks dance, and oh, they were old and haggard and ugly. 
But then his eye caught a young bonny witch. Well, she was the only bonny one amongst them. And she was a brilliant dancer. Tam watched her dance. And as he watched her dance and the music got faster and faster, Tam's toes began to tap. He was enjoying the music. And the bonny witch's dancing was so good, Tam forgot where he was and suddenly he cried out, Well done, Cutty Sark! And in an instant, all was dark. Now they knew he was there. And out they came like angry bees from a hive to get him. Tam ran as fast as he could down to his faithful horse, Meg, who was waiting for him. He jumped onto her and started riding as fast as he possibly could towards the bridge. If he could get to the bridge, he knew he would be safe, for the bridge crossed the river and witches do not cross running water. But the witches and the warlocks were right behind them. Could Meg gallop fast enough to outrun them and get to the bridge before they caught Tam? Come on, Meg! Gallop as fast as you can! Then they could see the bridge in front of them. Come on, Meg, come on. We're nearly there, shouted Tam. But the witches were right behind them. And as Meg galloped over the bridge, one of the witches stretched out her arm and grabbed Meg's tail and pulled it off. Poor Meg, she'd lost her tail and was left now only with a stump. But she'd run her heart out and got to the bridge just in time, for the witches couldn't follow over the bridge. And so Meg had saved Tam O'Shanter's life. Well, that's the tale, and I've often wondered what Tam O'Shanter's wife, Kate, thought when her husband arrived very late with a horse without a tail and a story about being chased by witches and warlocks whom he'd seen dancing in Alloway Old Kirk to music played by the devil himself. Well, what the witches did with Meg's tail, I can't tell you. But what I can tell you is that the bridge is still there. And so is Alloway Old Kirk. The question is, would you be brave enough to go past that old ruined Kirk on a dark, stormy night? just as Tam O'Shanter did. <laughs>